Hello friends, in this video I will discuss the Poisson and Laplace equations and later the capacitors. So we know that electric field is related with the potential as negative gradient minus E equal to minus del V and the differential form of the Gauss law equal to del dot E is equivalent to rho by epsilon naught and if you put this uh, in equation 1 then del uh, dot e minus del v equal to rho by epsilon naught or del square v equal to minus rho by epsilon naught. So uh, where this del square is the Laplacian operator and this equation is known as the Poisson equation. Del square v equal to minus rho by epsilon naught but for the charge free region means when charge density rho is 0 in that case the right hand side will be 0 and this equation becomes del square v equal to 0 and this equation is known as the Laplace equation and these equations are used to find the potential v between two surfaces or two plates and then finding the capacitance and they are very important in electromagnetism, microwave engineering uh, etc. The Laplacian operator is denoted as uh, del square and del square in Cartesian coordinate is second order partial differential operator del square by delta x square plus del square by del y square plus del square by del z square. So this is in Cartesian case and in cylindrical case where s phi z are the coordinate system del square is del square by delta s square plus 1 by s delta by delta s this is with the s plus 1 by s square delta square by delta phi square this is for phi plus delta square by delta z square and in spherical uh, symmetric uh, coordinates del square equal to 1 upon r square delta by delta r r square delta by delta r this is term for r and this term is for theta and this term is for phi so depending on the situation we can use uh, del square for uh, different coordinate system and we will see some examples based on different coordinate systems. If we have two plates of parallel plate capacitor, they are kept at distance d and b equal to 0 at x equal to 0 and b equal to b naught at x equal to d. So we have to sol solve the Laplace equation to find the potential v and electric field between the plates. So Laplace equation in Cartesian case equal to del square v equal to delta 2v by delta x square plus delta 2v by delta y square plus delta 2v by delta z square equal to 0. This is the Laplace equation and here the change is only in x direction. So y and z direction they will give us 0. So only the Laplace equation reduces to del square v equal to delta 2v by delta x square equal to 0. So this is the Laplace equation and we have to solve to find out the electric field and electric potential. So it is a second order uh, partial differential equation. If we integrate it two times or twice, then we can get the uh, potential V. So we have to integrate it two times and then find the constant uh, of integration using the boundary given boundary conditions. We have two boundary conditions are given to find the two coefficients. So first we integrate it. So delta 2 by delta x square equal to 0. So delta 2b by delta x square can be written as delta by delta x delta b by delta x equal to 0 and if we integrate both sides so here it will be delta v by delta x and on right hand side integral of 0 is some constant a and if we integrate it one more times db equal to a dx so this will give us b a is constant and dx will give x ax plus some constant b. So B potential equal to AX plus B, but we have to find the coefficient A and B using the boundary conditions and the boundary conditions are given as X equal to 0, B equal to 0, X equal to D, V equal to B naught. So put these con uh, conditions in equation number 5, then we can have the expression for B. So if we put V equal to 0, A into X equal to 0 plus b so b equal to 0 and if we put b equal to b naught equal to a into x equal to d plus b 
we have calculated zero. So a equal to uh, b naught by d. A equal to b naught by d. Uh, b d. So these are the two coefficient. So now equation number five or potential v equal to a x plus b will be b naught by d x plus zero means b equal to b naught by d x. So this is the potential between these two plates. And the uh, the electric field will be e equal to minus gradient of b. So we have to take the gradient, and it is in only in x direction. So we have to just delta b by delta x. So delta by delta x of this b not x by d, and it will uh, give us b not by d, and in x cap direction. So this is the uh, potential and electric field uh, for. Uh, this the uh, between the these two plates so this was the example for the cartesian coordinate similarly we can do the solution of laplace equation in uh, different cases like in a spherical case or a cylindrical case and we have to use the suitable laplace equation in which variable there is some change then we can solve it uh, integrate two times and find a and b so that is the procedure it will follow up in all the questions based on the uh, laplace equation now we have an, another example which is based on the cylindrical coordinate system and we have again two conditions uh, one plate is at phi equal to 0 and it have potential 0 volt and one is phi equal to 10 degree and potential 75 volt these are the boundary conditions and again we have to find Uh, potential and electric field so that we can find out the d vector that d is the displacement vector in uh, between these two plates and it between these two plates there is some uh, dielectric medium is there which have dielectric constant epsilon r equal to 1.65 so uh, again we have to find out the potential and electric field between these two plates but here the case is different uh, we we have to use the cylindrical coordinate system and phi is varying so we will take only one variable is there so we will take the phi part other part will be zero so in cylindrical uh, system delta one upon s square delta 2 b by delta phi square equal to zero this is the laplace equation for very uh, varying uh, variation in phi so if we this one upon s square will go here it will be zero delta 2 b by delta phi square equal to zero so again we have to integrate it twice first integral will give us delta b by delta phi equal to a and if we integrate again the v equal to a phi plus b and now we have to use the boundary conditions given boundary condition for finding a and b but phi is here in degrees so we have to change in radians so phi equal to 10 degree means phi equal to uh, we have to change it uh, 10 into pi by 180 or phi equal to 0.1 174 radian if we solve it and now we can put the uh, values phi equal to 0 b equal to 0 so it will give us b equal to 0 constant b equal to 0 and if we put b second condition is b equal to 75 volt at phi equal to 10 degree or 1.0.174 uh, radian so it will give us 75 equal to a into x uh, a to phi phi is 0.174 Uh, plus b equal to zero, so that's why we can find out a equal to 75 by this. This comes b equal to uh, a equal to 4 to 9.71, and b a equal to a phi plus b, so b equal to 4 to 9.71 phi, and b equal to zero. So this is the potential between these two plates, and the, we can find out the electric field using minus del v, and in uh, spherical uh, in uh, this uh, cylindrical coordinates. Minus one upon s delta v by delta phi in phi cap direction, and if we differentiate it with respect to uh, phi, so we will get some four to nine point seven one, and one one minus one upon s four to nine point seven one in phi cap direction. So this is the electric field between these two plates, and now we have to find out the calculate d. D is the displacement vector, and it is related as d vector equal to epsilon into electric field. so epsilon is the permittivity of free space into the dielectric constant of medium epsilon not into epsilon r into e and epsilon not value we already know it is constant 8.85 in 10 to the power minus 12 farad per meter 
अब साइन आर द डायरेक्ट कॉन्स्टेंट इज गिवन 1.65 सो इफ वी पुट दिस वैल्यूज वी कैन इजीली फाइंड द डी दैट इज द डिस्प्लेसमेंट वेक्टर 8.86 इनटू 10 टू पावर -12 इनटू 1.65 इनटू 10 टू इनटू माइनस इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज माइनस 4 टू 9.71 बाय एस इन फाइव कैप डायरेक्शन सो डी इज इक्वल टू इफ यू कैलकुलेट इट -6.277 इनटू 10 टू पावर -9 बाय एस इन फाइव कैप डायरेक्शन सो दिस इज द डिस्प्लेसमेंट वेक्टर so this is how we can solve the laplace equation for different symmetry now we move to the capacitors and we will see how we find the capacitance and the energy stored in a capacitor so suppose we have two conductors one have charge plus q and one have charge minus q they are separated by a distance and if b is constant over the con because in conductor b is constant the potential difference between them is b equal to b positive is potential here b negative is potential here so it will be b positive minus b negative and according to definition of potential it is uh, minus 2 plus e dot dl and e we already know that the electric field due to some charge distribution is defined as 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught rho by r square in r cap and d tau q q is equal to rho rho d tau and since e is proportional to q so also uh, b should be also proportional to q so b is directly proportional to q so b equal to uh, c into q and from here we can find out this proportionality constant c as c equal to q by b and this is known as the capacitance and it is a uh, geometrical quantity means it depends on the size shape and separation of the plates uh, and in si unit it is farad or it is coulomb per volt but usually it is a very big unit so usually the capacitance is denoted in microfarad and in nanofarad small units now we find the energy stored in a capacitor how much energy is stored so it capacitors are important uh, circuit elements and they can store energy and if we want to charge the capacitor from 0 to q for so we take very small charge dq at a time and dw will be uh, q by c in, into dq so total work required from going q equal to 0 to q equal to plus q and, uh, so it will be the work run equal to 0 to uh, if we integrate it 0 to q q by c dq and uh, with, with the integration it is half q square by c and q equal to c v so we have seen that c c was uh, in last slide c was q by v so q equal to c v so w equal to half c b square so this is the energy stored uh, in a capacitor now we uh, understand that what is dielectric constant and what is its effect on the capacitance so dielectric uh, they, they weak weakens the field by a factor k epsilon equal to k into epsilon naught or epsilon equal to epsilon r into epsilon naught so k or epsilon r is known as the uh, dielectric constant of the material so e equal to e naught by k and the dielectric materials they are determined by the dielectric constant and dielectric constant have no units so depending on their dielectric constant we can utilize uh, according to our need or according to the requirement of the device so for uh, vacuum the dielectric constant is around 1 for paper 3.7 for pyrex glass it is 5.6 and for water the dielectric constant k or epsilon naught is epsilon r equal to 80 so this is about the dielectric constant now we will see how we can find out the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor which consists of two metal surfaces one surface is there and above and one is below and uh, their surface area is a and they are at a distance d apart as shown in this figure and we have to find out the capacitance so if we put some plus q charge on top surface and minus q on the bottom surface then uh, sigma equal to q by a or q equal to sigma into a 
and electric field due to one plate equal to sigma we have seen uh, that the electric field due to a uh, plate equal to sigma by epsilon naught and sigma is equal to q by a so e will be uh, this uh, one uh, it is one upon epsilon naught q by a and as uh, electric field is defined as potential divided by the uh, distance between these two plates e equal to v by d or v equal to e into d and e we have uh, calculated so v equal to e q by a epsilon naught into d and finally we can find the capacitance by uh, q divided by this potential v and q will be cancelled out so it will be uh, it will go a epsilon naught will go in a numerator and d will be in denominator so c equal to a epsilon naught by d so for parallel plate capacitor the capacitance is a epsilon naught by d where a is the area of a plate and d is the separation epsilon naught is the permittivity of free medium similarly if we have the case for a uh, this kind of two spherical cells they make a capacitor means one have inner spherical shall have radius a and outer have radius b and if we put plus q charge on this inner uh, shell and minus q charge on the outer shell then how we can find out the uh, capacitance of this uh, geometry so play, put if plus q on inner sphere and minus q on outer one the field uh, is e equal to uh, field between the spheres equal to q 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square in r cap direction if you uh, in the between these two plates and the potential difference between them uh, if e, we know e then potential is defined as e dot dl and from prime point a to b from a to b uh, we e dot dl will give us the potential and if we know the potential then we can find out the capacitance c equal to q by b so first we our aim is to find v so v we know the electric field between these two plates equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square in r cap direction so e dot dl so dl equal to it is increasing in dr direction so it will be minus q by 4 pi epsilon naught 1 upon r square uh, q these all are co coefficient uh, constants so it is take, take, they can be taken out of integral so in our, inside this 1 upon r square into dr because dl vector is only in r cap direction uh, dr into r cap other r cap so it will give us 1 upon r square into dr and if we integrate 1 upon r square will give us minus 1 upon r and if we put the limits a to b in minus 1 upon r it will be 1 upon uh, b minus 1 upon a but if we uh, use the this minus sign is already there so q by 4 pi epsilon naught 1 upon a minus 1 upon b and now we can find out the capacitance uh, c equal to q divided by b so b is this so uh, q and q will be cancelled out and if 4 pi epsilon naught we go uh, on numerator and this will give us a b by b minus a so c equal to 4 pi epsilon naught a b minus a b divided by b minus a this is the capacitance for two concentric metallic spare cell uh, uh, these between these two shells so this is the capacitance so we have discussed all also the capacitance in parallel plate and this uh, spherical cells so uh, in uh, last video we have discussed the electric potential and in next video we will discuss the magnetostatics and the biosevert law so thanks for watching this video